In this video, we're going to create the following quiz game using the starter project provided to us. But before we begin, there's a few things we have to consider. And I'm going to start with the first one. How will the computer ask questions? Will the program choose randomly from component list? Personally, I'm a big fan of randomness, so I'm going to probably create a list of questions myself to choose from, each with a corresponding answer, and I'll choose randomly from that. So I'm going to ignore this list that they gave us, actually, because I don't know how it would fit into like my vision of what I would create. I'm thinking we have like some sort of list structure. Let me start like coding it out a little bit so you guys can see what I'm thinking of. I want to have a list of questions and answers together, like click on the CPU and then know that the CPU is number two. And I want to keep that together. Or I want to do click on the, I don't know, let's say the RAM. And the answer for that is going to be three, the stick of RAM. And I want to have a list of these list items, which are just questions and answers. And I'm going to like forget about the abstract data types right now. I just want to get this kind of working up and like get it up and running as quickly as possible. And I'm going to just start with two items in our list of questions for now, because I don't need to like write all 14 or whatever, however number of items there are here. Um, in one shot to get it to work. If I can get it to work for two, I can get it to work for a million questions. So let's see, what am I going to do? It says number two is how will the player answer? Will they click a number on the stage to answer? So that's interesting. I was actually thinking of maybe having Alonzo like ask and wait for the user to type in a number. Um, but maybe we could create something where the user can click on each sprite because each of these numbers is a sprite and we'll use some kind of broadcast event to detect what the user clicked. Uh, I'm going to start with the ask and wait right now because it's kind of like what first came to my mind when I like read the uh, read what this thing is uh, asking us to create a quiz game. So let's uh, let's actually try to get this running. So what I want Alonzo to do, I want Alonzo to handle like the main game. I want him to ask a question from this list. So right now this list is reporting back all the list items. So I want to choose a random number from this list or a random question I should say from this list. So I can do item random of this list. And what that gives us is a random item. So it's either one or the other right now. And obviously it can repeat because it's random. Um, but that is not going to be what we're going to ask. We're not going to ask them for the an the question and the answer at the same time. We just want to ask them for the question at a time. So I'm going to look at the first item of a random item. And then that's what I'm going to ask. So let's see if this will work. If I click on this, he says click on the CPU. Actually, that doesn't even make sense because I'm not even clicking on the CPU right now. I'm just asking which one is the CPU. So let me uh, let me change the wording on this. Which which item is the CPU? And same thing for the RAM. Which item is the RAM? Which item is the RAM? And I have to make these questions because they're not directing the person to click on anything. Oops. Okay, so we're making a little bit of progress. So now what I want to do is when the person gives us an answer, Actually, let me just fix this one. There we go. When a person gives us an answer, we want to check to see if the answer matches the second item of the list. So I'm going to use an if statement and I'm going to check to see if answer equals the second item of the list. And here's where I'm probably going to have an issue because over here, I'm kind of just like picking a random question and then displaying the question. I'm picking a random question from this list of questions and just displaying the question. I'm never actually storing like which question I picked. It's just choosing randomly. So I actually can't use this, I don't think. What I have to do is maybe create a temporary variable to store a random number that I can then use. So I guess we gotta go back to the drawing board. Let's create a script variable that we'll call random question. And we're going to set random question equal to, so let's set random question equal to a random number. So we're going to use this pick random number. Um, and right now it's only two questions, possible two questions, one of two. So we'll use that. And instead of doing item random of, we'll use item random question of. 
And I think that'll be good because now I, now I can like use this random question down here. I know which question I asked, which random question I'm looking at. So then I could check to see if the answer equals the second item of the random question. And the second item, keep in mind, is going to be the answer. So it's either two or three. So I can, I can check to see if the person's answer is the second item of my random question. So I can check to see if their answer is correct. And let's just test this out. Let's just have it say, actually, if it's wrong, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use an if else. So let me change this. Let me relabel it to if else. And if it's right, I'm going to say you're right. Otherwise, I'm going to say you're wrong. So let me, let me just type that out. So you're right or you're wrong for now. Uh, I have to connect this. There we go. So what's happening right now, let me just read through it before I actually run it, is I'm creating a temporary variable, a script variable called random question. I'm setting it equal to a random number between one or two, between one and two, because I only have two questions. Um, then I'm asking the, the question from that random question, which is the first item of one of these list items. Then I'm checking to see if the answer that the user gives me equals the second item of that random question, which is the answer. So I'm checking to see if the answer is correct. And if it is, then I'm going to say you're right. Otherwise, they typed in something wrong or something completely different, and I'm going to say you're wrong. So let's try this out. Which item is the CPU? And I know, I know the answer should be two, so I'm going to type in two. And it says expecting list but getting numbers. So something's wrong here. What happened? Expecting list but getting number. Item two. Oh, it's not item two of random question. Wait, is it? Oh, because random question would just be the second. Would just be um, the second item, which is in a list. Okay, so I have to. I have to be very careful here. And this is my problem. This is the problem with using without using abstract data types, is that I have to be really careful about like the item of item of blocks. Like if I have blocks inside of blocks. So I have to look at the item two of the item random question of the list of questions. So I have to duplicate this list. And if you guys have ever watched any of my videos, you know that whenever you're duplicating code, that's not good. So maybe what I should do is I should store this list outside of both of these. So that way I don't have to like do this. Wow, that, that's kind of tricky, but let's just see if it's working for now. And then I'll pull the list out. Uh, let's run it again. Which item is the CPU? The answer should be two. So if I type in two, Alonzo says, you're right. Let me just try to do the wrong answer now. So if I click on the script variable, which item is the RAM? So I'm gonna type in, uh, let's see, RAM is three. So I'm gonna type in two. And he says, you're wrong. So this quiz would work in this kind of a manner. Um, let me just pull out that list, the list of questions. So let me maybe create a variable and I'll call it the list of questions. And we're going to set list of questions equal to this list. So set list of questions equal to this list. And now what I can do is I can check to see the random question from the list of questions. And I can pull this out down here in the if statement and check to see if the random question um, of the list of questions, if the person typed in the right answer from that. So if you want, you could go ahead and make an abstract data type. So you can do like, you know, the, the question of the random question of list of questions or the answer of uh, item random question of list of questions. But for now, because I'm just like trying to go for speed here, trying to like build this as quickly as possible, I'm just going to leave it at that. I guess in the next video, I'll try to get the same functionality working, but by clicking on the numbers.